In this lecture, I am going to explain about dynamic memory allocation in C language. See guys, memory allocation is of two types. One is static memory allocation, another is dynamic memory allocation. First, let me tell you what is memory allocation. Memory allocation means when the space is allocated for different kinds of identifiers that we people use in our programs like variables, arrays, structures, etc. If this memory allocation takes place at compilation time, it amounts to be called static memory allocation. In normal cases, when we declare variables, arrays or structures, it happens to be static memory allocation. That means it's a normal case when the space is allocated for these identifiers at compilation time. But in dynamic memory allocation, what happens is the space is allocated on the fly. On the fly, I mean to say when the program is in execution stage. That means program is getting executed and at that time we allocate the space. Now I will give you an example. Uh, I will show you a diagram whereby you can see the importance of dynamic memory location. I'm going to give you an example of linked list. Uh, uh, maybe you might not have uh, uh, studied data structure subject, but the example is quite straightforward and simple. You would be able to comprehend it. Actually, there are nodes. Each node is nothing else but a structure. In a linked list, what we people have got is different number of nodes and each node has got a data part and a link part. Link part is nothing else, but it is a pointer variable which contains address of the very next node and address of the very first node is contained in a pointer variable called start. Of course, name could be anything. Now, when the program is in execution state, whenever the need arises, the user can opt for new node. For example, to start with, suppose we have this only one single node in our link list. So I want to generate another node. What I will do is I will go for dynamic memory location and I would create another node. Again, when the need arises, I can go for third node, fourth node fifth node and so on. So that means initially when the program was in the execution stage, there was only one node. Later on, when the need arises, the user can go for creating as many nodes as the user wants. So similarly, now I'm going to show you uh, how we people can go for dynamic memory location using C language. In C language, we people have got a very important function called malloc. Now, the syntax of malloc goes like this. But before that, uh, let me make one point very clear. Whenever a programmer of C language wants to go for dynamic map location, it will always be through pointers. So what we will have to do is we will have to, uh, in this example, what we people are going to do is we are going to create an array we are going to allocate space for an array using dynamic memory location. In our uh, chapters of advanced topics, we had come to know that an array name is pointed to base address. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to declare my array Arvan uh, as uh, with, the, with the help of pointer notation because I'm going to go for dynamic memory location using malloc. So here I have declared my array through pointer notation. Then I'm asking from the user the size of array. That is the total number of elements the user wants to have for this array. That is getting uh, inputted into the variable n. And here goes the operation that is going to uh, do dynamic memory location. Of course, I will have to use malloc function. The syntax of malloc function goes like this. First, we are supposed to write data type star within parenthesis. It's a sort of typecasting. And then we are supposed to issue malloc function and within the parenthesis of malloc, we are supposed to pass the total number of bytes to be reserved for this array. 
and uh, of course because i am going to have n number of elements in this array so size of int as you already know will return the total number of bytes consumed by one int value and multiplied by n will reserve the total space that is total number of bytes total number of bytes will be reserved the whole array will be allocated the space and the base address would be put into r1 so later on what i can do is i can read the values into this array like uh, i am getting the values like r1 uh, into the first element r10 r11 r12 i need not explain this loop because it's quite straightforward and you are already familiar with the this loop uh in in comments i have shown that the same thing can also be referred using this notation r1 plus k so first time it would be r1 plus 0 then r1 plus 1 r1 plus 2 so r1 plus 0 would be referring to the address of the very first element r1 plus 1 will be referring to the address of the second element r1 plus 2 would be referring to the address of the third element and so on so we can use this uh, alternative uh, scan of also and later on i am going to print the values of these array elements which can be printed conventionally uh, by conventionally i mean to say i could have written like r1 k within parenthesis or i can use the pointer notation as you already know star is value at address operator so it's uh, i am going to execute the program so that you can see it for yourself it's asking for size of array suppose i happen to uh, give it as 5 then i am going to give the values the output is being shown so the program is working fine but what you can see is here i have gone in for dynamic memory allocation 